first of all i want to convey thanks to box irai for giving me this opportunity so that i can speak on this platform before uh, before my this current institute students then i want to uh, convey thanks for the uh, dr rajesh singh division head of agronomy dr rahul gazbi idea minister of defense my senior palab narayan sharma sir and all of the ir students community just before our little talks i offer my greetings to my parents and my motherland though they are not here with me but at no time they are detached with detached from me and uh, at no time they are away from me from the times uh, when i came here in 2017 i was unaware of the most pressing thing about the upsc that ias are being selected through the upsc csc examination so you can understand by my this line that it all started from ground zero and if someone has any doubt that i cannot do it or will i be able to do it then let me just clearly say that yes everyone has that much potential and everyone can do it then i also want to convey my heart work heart felt thanks to my uh, beloved brother my passing guruji who is not here due to some urgency in meeting because he just gave me a limited love a limited care support and guidance for this examination which uh, never allowed me to derail from the track and the result is before you that i was able to crack this examination in my third attempt few things about this iri and what iri gave me iri gave me a good company of friends and most of them are here only sonasi kawati is here nilesh sir is here sandeep mathur so these were few who were means uh, they were when i came in 2017 and uh, when i was nothing just like an msc student only i had no tag of uh, ias or upsc uh, selected candidate to wo tab the mere sath jab mere paas kuch nahi tha aur wo aaj bhi mere sath hai to iska thanks to them so now let's talk about some uh, my about upsc journey i started in uh, about december 2017 and i took coaching uh, we'll talk about later about coaching so when i was in msc here so uh, i didn't actually uh, focus much on uh, much on the msc part because uh, when uh, i just got admitted here so i just completely uh, focus my attention towards the uh, upsc civil services and uh, then one of my friend helped me through the examinations uh, from the genetics division uh, literally i just cleared all the trimester exams through the my residual knowledge from the ug and from uh, uh, fan notes i just literally uh, read nothing about the genetics <laughs> and uh, just uh, when the time came uh, i gave my first attempt in 2018 just to check my work that whether i am capable of doing it or not so uh, obviously that has to be a failure uh, i was not able to clear prelims that time and but i just uh, uh, took a leap from that failure that if uh, i am not able to clear this time maybe i'll uh, get it next time and uh, i had a little hope and just always carried a, a smile on my face that yes i'll uh, make it sometime and someday then the year of 2018 uh, 2019 came i had a phd examination and transfer was there and uh, it, uh, incidentally there was clash between upsc civil service prelims examination and I did PhD examination, so I had to choose one among the two. And uh, obviously, because of the scholarship factor, as uh, family is not uh, so much financially strong, so I had to uh, carry a gun uh, with upon myself. So uh, I chose I did PhD at that time. And uh, my friends were preparing uh, from about last seven to eight months. I started in about February uh, 2019. The exam was in about June, so I had only four months to. I uh, studied about that i just made that from day to night and night to day and hopefully i clear with that uh, only during one i refused and transcribed examination
So just after coming to the Ayurveda PhD, uh, then I took coaching from the Vajiram and Ravi Institute. But after attending the coaching for six to seven months, uh, I didn't find it worthy at all. Uh, I thought that the two to uh, three hours that I am giving to the coaching, I can study much more when I when I will be self studying uh, in the reading room or in the library. So uh, I didn't attend the last two to three months of coaching. Uh, then I gave my second attempt in 2020. Could not clear prelims due to the C set. Then again, after uh, not able to clearing in the 2020, I uh, gave my third attempt in 2021, and all the stages passed through all at once. Prelims clear, mains clear, intro clears, and then AIR 3 by 9. So whenever I just uh, uh, I was uh, kind of failed in the prelims. So I just completely shifted against the mains because it is the mains who get you the uh, marks and who gets you the rank. Uh, just after 2018-2020, I literally shifted uh, directly to the mains and essay writing because uh, they are the uh, main parts because prelims will get you chance to write mains but only mains score will help you to get in the list and get to the top, top rankers list. So uh, this was how the journey of uh, my UPSC uh, went on and see uh, just for my uh, personal advice and personal piece of advice because uh, it's like that it's easy to handle our professional failures but it becomes difficult when it comes to the personal failures and uh, the personal failures determines how our mental stability goes on. So, during UPSC, during any of the exam we uh, came across, maybe that SRF, maybe ARS, maybe of any NABAD exam or any of the other, mental stability and uh, uh, right effort and in the right direction is needed. And uh, hopefully, when uh, the result was about to declare, uh, it declared on uh, about 30th of May 2022, my seniors, juniors were saying that, uh, sir, you will clear this time and uh, you need not to worry much more about this. I didn't have grudges for that, but uh, I was preparing uh, myself for the bad outcome because that would uh, something uh, we lack. Uh, sometimes uh, most of us we lack that approach because we are not prepared for the bad outcome and uh, we generally think upon that, yes, we may clear, we may clear. And when it comes to the failure, then we feel that, yeah, I expected this, I expected this and it got this. So then the phase of depression started, uh, Lan Sarma said. That depression phase is downward spiraling and uh, it goes on, it will keep you uh, bringing down and down just to the ground level, maybe underground also sometimes. Then, if I was uh, preparing myself that what if, uh, what if that happened that uh, my name is not in the list, I was preparing for that one and uh, literally I am telling you, if uh, my name was not in the list of 685 recommended list, then I would have been present everywhere among the youth and uh, with a smiling face because I did, I was prepared at all for the negative attempt, uh, negative result as well as positive result both. So uh, one should have approach, one should have anticipation for both kind of results because life is something uh, which gives you uh, lows also, which gives you ups also, which gives you highs and lows and all of the things because life is all predictable at times and we all may face failures in one or in other form at another times. Then uh, coming to the preparation for the civil services for the uh, aspirants who are uh, now in the that journey, this preparation is an integrated one and uh, no phase that is prelims, mains or interview, they are not segregated at all. Some subjects are there which are mentioned in the prelims and not in the mains and vice versa. But at all, they are all integrated and we have to keep our approach as much as integrated possible. And the pigeon hole principle is not involved in this at all. Then as far as concerned with the strategy, uh, many juniors come and uh, they ask that what strategy I should follow. I would say just a simple, uh, I would want to convey a simple strategy about this. One strategy is uh, one strategy and none of the other strategy. Our strategy should be like our Indian constitution, 
Our Indian constitution was made from the various sources, made from the various country sources, but it was modified and suited according to our country needs. So one should take advice from seniors, one should listen to the talkers, one should listen to the teachers and mentors, take their advice, then make the crux of, crux of this advice and modify according to your mental caliber and your mental capabilities because each and every one of us are on different pace, each of everyone are on a different time scale. Some juniors may get selected in the first year of MSc also, then first year, uh, second year of MSc, then first year of PhD. We should not feel uh, disheartened at that time, of, at that point of time, because everyone has a different time clock, and when it will be your time, then it will be only your time. None can other take, uh, none can take that time from you. So just wait for that time. Till then, hold your breath, be steadfast, be determined, and be mentally stable for uh, all of the outcomes. Then uh, I just wrote a poem. Uh, that is in Hindi. I couldn't translate uh, in English. Aakho me pani rakho, hoto pe chingari rakho, dil me thandak rakho aur chehre pe muskaan rakho. Har mood pe milegi aapko taklife. Agar asal me aapko jina hai to unse yari rakho. Is dunia me aaye hai to sukh aur dukh ki peti ham saath laaye hai. Is dunia me aaye hai to ham sukh aur dukh ki peti ham saath laaye hai. अगर इनसे निजात पाना है तो मेहनत के साथ अपनी तैयारी रखो जिंदा रहना है तो तरकीबें बहुत सारी रखो राह के पत्थरों को सिर्फ पत्थर मत मानो उन्हें इकट्ठा करो और इमारत बनाने की अपनी तैयारी रखो मंजिल से ज्यादा खूबसूरत सफर होता है इसलिए मंजिल से ज्यादा सफर से यारी रखो और अपना सफर जारी रखो जब तक मंजिल मिल नहीं जाती अपना सफर जारी रखो अपना सफर जारी रखो Then at last, just a few words about the UPSC examination or we can say across any of the examination. Just UPSC examination wants to put its case before the aspirants. That what it wants to convey and what it wants to uh, take from the students or the aspirants. UPSC goes on like this that I am UPSC CS examination. In a country of billion dreams, I am much sought after. People dream to conquer me and step into the portals of bureaucracy. But I am not very popular. I am accused of being erratic and unpredictable and some people or some aspirants think that I am sadist too. Today I have case for myself. I wish to defend. Please judge me patiently. I am in examination. I am factored in according to what the country needs. Is it too much to ask for the best to come forward and take up the challenge I throw? Am I totally unreasonable if I wish to choose nothing but the very sincere, the most committed and devoted to get through past me? How I wish aspirants saw through the purpose of what I do? I want those aspiring to don the leadership, to wear the crown of leadership, to know and love their country, how their country struggled through the years of oppressive regime, how this country survived the odds stacked against it. Isn't it important that those who aspire to help top eclipse of governance should know the country's resources? Shouldn't they care about how its economic functions? Shouldn't they know of the injustice and the brave fight against it? I am sometimes disappointed that aspirants take their task to be a core. They don't seem to be involved in building their capacities and rise up to the challenge. I wonder why can't the young, the aspirational and the ambitious brains and souls work with a spirit of deep purpose and a sense of firm involvement uh, during the preparation itself. Isn't it obvious that an examination of this standard should, it, should exact its share of commitment? Let me tell you one thing that I know from the years. Through the years I have managed, I, I have known that it isn't hard work alone that takes candidates through. It's hard work built around a sense of firm involvement that takes most through. You have a choice, you can complain, 
you feel you may feel miserable at times and you may uh, bark upon the things that you may see this you may see this you may see this it's so irrational and injustice to ask such type of questions or you may choose to see the purpose of what the exam wants out of you you have nothing to lose you are grooming a personality out of you upsc can bring out the human being from you if you will treat itself uh, from the inner self of you if you treat it like an just an examination then also you can clear examination uh, clear this exam but you will uh, feel that yes i want some personal growth also along with the uh, upsc then also uh, then only an human being can come out from you who will be able to serve the society and able to serve the purpose of this examination you are sharpening your instinct of focus and never when while you learn to navigate through distractions hope i hope to see you squeeze every inch of your heart and soul through these hard works of your uh, uh, heart years of your uh, preparation